hello to all today we are discussing about the mendelism now very first you must know that what is mendelism so the experiments performed by the mendel on the genetics and the description of the mechanism of the hereditary processes and the formulations of the principle are known as the mendelism once again i am repeating the experiments which were performed by the mendel on the genetics and the description of the mechanisms of the hereditary processes and the formulations of the principles are known as the mendelism when we are talking about the mendelism we must know something about the mendel the full name of the mendel was gregor john mendel and its life span is between 1822 to 1884 he was born on 22nd july 1822 in a small village known as the silesia village which is in hesendorf in austria now he was actually appointed as a priest or a monk in the year 1847 in an augustinian monastery which is located in austria at the brun city and while working in augustinian monastery Mendel worked on garden pea which is also called as the pisum setaigum in his church garden now he worked intensely on the pea plant for 9 years means he started work on the pea plant in the year 1856 1857 up to 1864 means he worked for 9 years and then in the year 1866 he published the result of his experiment in a journal which was published by annual proceedings of natural history society of brun and the paper published in this journal was having the name experiments in plant hybridization means i want to say the journal in which the work was published was named as annual proceedings of natural history society of brun and the name of the paper published in this journal was experiments in plant hybridization now mendel work was published in the year 1866 but his work was not considered his work has not gained the popularity at that time his work was not accepted by the biologists of that time now the question arises that today the mendel is called as the father of the genetics he has done classical experiments on the genetics but what was the reason at that time that his work was overlooked so there were various reasons some important reasons are that the mendel work was ahead of time his work was little bit ahead okay and that's why nobody was able to accept that sort of that classical sort of work at that time okay so we can say that his work was ahead of time now the next reason was of the failure that he published his work in a journal having limited editions means the journal in which he published was annual proceedings of natural history society of brun but the editions that the the journal was having a very limited edition it was not distributed to the various universities of the world so his work has not reached to the prominent biologist of that time the third was he was not sure of his findings because when he was working on hylaceum weed or the hawk weed he was not able to get the similar results what he got in the pea plant so mendel was not sure uh, in his mind about his findings okay next one the mind of the biologist of that time was preoccupied with the darwin theory of evolution published in a book known as the origin of the species origin of species was the most famous books at that time which was published in the year 1857 so all the scientists were the minds of all the scientists were preoccupied in viewing the concepts actually given by the darwin for the evolution so nobody has considered the work of the mendel at that time and one more reason was that that mendel was not the man of biology he has done the diploma in mathematics he was the man of the mathematics but he was actually 
talking about the biology so nobody has taken it as a serious work at that time okay so this was the reason that his work was overlooked at that time now mendel died in the year 1884 mendel was regularly working that so uh, his work can be considered by someone but in the year 1884 he died due to some kidney disorder he was actually suffering from bright's disease which is a kidney disorder without knowing that he has laid the foundation of the modern genetics okay now the mendel laws remain unnoticed for at least how many years 34 years why 34 years because that his work was published in the year 1866 but his work was rediscovered in the year 1900 means in the next century so work was published in the year 1866 so right from 1866 up to the next century started in the until the 1900 right so 34 years so for 34 years his work remained unnoticed but when the next century started in the beginning of the century the three botanist independently rediscovered the mendel's principles okay or they worked again on the mendelian principles and the names of the three scientists were the first one was the hugo de vries he was actually from the holland and he was actually working on the evening primrose which is also called as the oenothera lemarkiana karl korens which was actually belonging to the germany he experimented on the maize and shermark who was actually from the australia he has worked on different flowering plants and these three workers have independently worked but these three workers also reached to the same conclusion which was actually given by the mendel and therefore they republished the original work of the mendel in the year 1901 in a magazine called as the flora magazine and since then the mendel is considered as the father of genetics because he has laid the foundation of the modern genetics he has done a classical work on the genetics so dear student this was the video based on the mendelism we'll be coming soon with few more videos which will be based on the genetics so keep watching me and if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take